I want to welcome everybody to the River District and River Heights Area Water and Sewer Improvement Project. This is a design meeting. Your project manager is Zach, and I'm going to turn this. Oh, oh I'm sorry. If you have questions that you want to put in the chat, go ahead and do that during the presentation. We'll address those first, and then we'll address any call in questions. Okay, Zach? Okay. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, for everyone, for uh, attending this meeting. This is the design meeting, uh, community meeting for the River District and River Hyde Area Water and Sewer Improvement Project. And today is Tuesday, January 17, and we'll start at 6 p.m. as a schedule. So today's meeting will follow this agenda. First, we'll um, go over introduction of the team members. Then we will have the project overview and we'll show the project area and we'll address some of the frequency and frequently asked questions and we'll show the timeline for the project. And as Sally said, we'll be open to uh, in call questions. So the project team includes myself, Zach Zekar Salehi. You can reach me directly at 817-392-8695 or you can email me at abulfazl.zakersalihi at fortworthtexas.gov. And our engineering consultant is Donna Bay, and uh, their PM is also on this call, and they'll be assisting City of Fort Worth in designing uh, this project. So why are we doing this project? Uh, City of Fort Worth prioritizes water and sewer line replacement based on the available data. And this will include uh, water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection, age of the line, line material, lead service lines, and cast iron lines. And uh, this project will consist of seven streets and four easements, and the entire project will be uh, in Council District 7. Here we have a map of the project. This is the zoomed out version, if you will. And this project from north side is bound by White Solomon Road. And on the east side, we have Merida Street. And on the west and south side, we have the West Fort, uh, west Fort Trinity River. And this construction will impact the River District neighborhood, which is this area, this big area, and River Height neighborhood. And also on the east, we have Groove at the River District. The scope of the project will include the White Settlement Road from Merritt to the City of Fort Worth limits, which is the Trinity River. And we'll have water and sewer in this segment. We have an easement from White Settlement Road uh, towards south, 390 feet south, and this is a 24 inch sewer line. We have McGee Street from West Fork to West Fork. We have water and sewer. We have West Fork from uh, White Settlement Road to Dewar's Lane. We have Dewar Lane from um, West Fork to the cul-de-sac. We have Roberts Cutoff Road from White Settlement to Devers Lane. And we have Redbot Lane from Atenea to the Slater Street. Next segment, we have a Slater Street from Atenea to the Slate and Redbot Lane uh, intersection. Then we have uh, Slater Street from uh, Scott to Slater Street. That's a sewer line. And then we have this easement, uh, which is the continuation of that 24 inch, which will be uh, only sewer. And then we have one uh, easement between Devers Lane. Uh, I'm sorry, it's north of Devers Lane. It's probably more visible here. 
this easement north of Tiver's Lane between Roberts Cutoff and West Fork Road. And this will be roughly 190 feet. And we have that easement south of Tiver's Lane uh, from Deaver's Lane to 470 feet south. So, some of the common questions uh, regarding these projects is that, will our water to be turned off? So, we are expecting the water to be turned off for roughly 15 to 30 minutes when services are, trans are transferred from the existing line to a temporary line, and once more when we are transferring from the temporary line to the new line. And the contractor will knock on the door and let customers know then uh, when and that uh, that water line will be shut off. Do you need to access our property? Construction will be in the streets and easements. And if City of Fort Worth water needs to access your property, we will contact you. If an easement is needed for uh, your property, a city land agent will be contacting you soon, which I believe they already uh, done that. Will our sewer service be, uh, will be disrupted? Uh, sanitary sewer services will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line, which is pictured here. The sewer cleanout provides uh, crew easy access if a backup or a backlog occurs. And uh, it's good to point out that the sewer line from the clean out to the property belongs to the property owner and the maintenance of that part of the sewer line is, um, is to be done by the owner, not by city of Fort Worth. Will I have access to my driveway? Uh, an inspector will be assigned to the project once we are ready to start the construction. And the ins uh, inspector and the contractor will work with the residents who need access to their driveway during the active construction hours. So the timeline for this project, uh, for now we are uh, anticipating to advertise for bids and select a contractor sometimes during summer 2023. And we will host another uh, community meeting which is a construction meeting, and we'll uh, have more details at the time about the timeline of construction. But for now, we anticipate this process to start sometime summer 2023. Where can I get more information? You can go to the www.fortworthtexas.gov, which is the city's official website, and type in the project number, which is 103411 for this project. And this will pull the project web page, and uh, you this you will find the project name, which is River District and River Hyde Area Water and Sewer Improvements. And you can also um, subscribe to get updates on this project, which you can uh, go down to the bottom of the project page and enter your email, and and this will send you the the updates once they're uploaded on the city's web page. And the link to the project summary frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page. And you have, um, you can also find the video of this community meeting on the same page. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? For emergencies, you can um, call this number 817-392-4477. And emergencies usually uh, include water main breakups or breaks or sewer backups. And, and this will be available 24 hours a day. For non-emergency, you can call the same number during the office hours, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and uh, report your non-emergency concerns. You can also download the My Fort Worth app in, uh, in the App Store or Google Play. And you can report sewer overflows, leaks and water main breaks, missing or broken meter leads, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. Once again, uh, my name is Zach Zakar Salehi, and my direct phone number is 817-392-8695.
and my email address is abulfazl.zakirsalehi at 44texas.gov. And also, as for uh, as far as our easement team, uh, our land agent is Armando Calva. His phone number is 817-392-2570. And his email address is armando.calva at fortworthtexas.gov. For three and landscaping questions, you can call uh, Craig Fox, who is city forester. His phone number is 817-392-5729. Or you can email him at craig.fox at fortworthtexas.gov. And at this point, we are ready to take any questions if you have any. Julie, do you have any questions? Um, I don't particularly have a question. I would just really appreciate um, priority being given to notifying people what's going on. We've got construction down the road right now and they turn the water off in the middle of the night and don't they don't even inform the city which is on them but um i feel like we uh kind of are at the very bottom of the to-do list i know these projects are huge in scale and cost um but you know please let us know um it does affect our daily lives so you know i appreciate you know the links and all the things but um it's I've been a little frustrating lately. Um, the mailers, you know, we were failed by the mailers on the track. We had our trash can dates changed and we didn't get mailers in time either. So I, I feel like the mailers are a poor communication tool the way they're currently being used. So that's just mainly my comment. So yeah, to address that, uh, we'll have door hangers um, prior to construction starts in your street. So uh, they will inform you for sure. Apart from mailers, they will they will have door hangers to inform the residents. Okay, that would be great. Yeah. Other, other than the um, we have the bids this okay. summer. Is there any other timeline dates you you know round dates you can give us? So we are expecting the construction phase to take 52 weeks or one year. But again, depending on what uh, what street you are located on, this could change. Obviously, they're not gonna finish all in the same time or start at the same time. So right. uh, once uh, we have uh, awarded this project for construction and uh, we will have a more detailed schedule on what are the timelines for specific segments. Let's say, I mean, you can shoot me an email and I can tell you more details about that okay. at this stage. Yeah. That'd be great. Thank you. Melody, did you have a question? No, not at this time. Jack, do you want to put your contact information up one last time? Oh, yeah. Okay. And yeah, again, this is my contact information. You can call me directly or just shoot me an email and I'll be happy to give you more details. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I guess Julie and I were the only ones on the. Oh.